Hi, good day everyone. Here I am again for independent activity number two and for that module number four. So, ang gagawin nyo dito is i-compute nyo lang. You look for the general weighted average of student A. So, ayun yung given natin, may subject, first quarter, and second quarter, and you have to look for the final grade. So, what activity tool are you going to use for this? Of course, ang gagamitin natin is the Microsoft Excel. So, you look for the Microsoft Excel, here is it, and you have to double-click. Upon double-clicking, so makikita nyo ang interface na to. Next thing you are going to do is, you just simply type those data uh, na nandun sa module ninyo. And, ayan. So, yung data natin. So, we have uh, the subject. So, you need to type the subject, the first quarter, second, and the final grade. So, if you can see, parang hindi nag a yung first quarter. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is you click the cell, and then hanapin nyo tong cross na to, and then i-adjust nyo lang. So, para makita yung mga hindi siya nag overlap And then for the subject, we're going to type 21st century literature. In this case, nag-overlap talaga siya sa line. Ang gagawin, gagawin nyo is kamukha ng ginawa kanina, extend lang natin, you press, and then i-drag mo lang hanggang sa makarating doon. So, basta hindi siya nag-overlap. And there is the strategy or the tip that you're going to do for that. Okay, so assuming na na-type na, na natin sila, so ngayon, paano natin kukunin ang final grade uh, ni student A? Simply lang, what are you going to do is i-highlight yun lang to, and then you select for uh, the autosum. Ito yon. And then, makikita mo is 172 for the function keys. And then, lagay mo lang is slash 2 kasi dalawa sila. Then, click. And ayun yung final grade niya for the 21st century literature. So, next naman is you don't need to go back typing these function keys. Ang gagawin mo lang is you click this one. And then, dito sa bandang gilid, makikita mo yung cross na yan. And then, press. And then, drag. Pababa. And there you have it. Nandun na yung kanilang final grade. Ngayon, kunin natin yung average neto ng first quarter niya. So, by simply clicking it. And then, highlighting all those numbers. And then, auto sum. Ngayon, ang, ang i-click natin to. Then, I-divide natin kung ilang subjects siya. 2, 4, 6, 8. We have 8 subjects, slash, 8, then enter. And there you have it, the average for the first quarter. And now is, i-highlights din natin to. You don't need to repeat the instruction. What you need to do is you drag it para makita yung average. Okay? And then, in these cases, for example, yung final grade kailangan whole number lang. So, i-right click lang na i-click lang natin, then you go sa format cells. And then number nyo is walang decimal places. For example, dito kasi pwedeng dalawa, tatlo, pero kung gusto niyo wala, zero lang ang ilagay niyo and there you have it. So, yun yung mag appear And then same as true with this, ganun din yung gagawin, mas may mali, may shortcut dito sa taas. Increase decimal or decrease decimal. So, in our case, decrease natin para mag-ground off siya. And, ayun siya. Highlight ko lang yung average. There you are. Ayan. Control B lang for the ball. That's it. We're done. So, pag pinindot mo to, makikita mo yung mga consults. Dito yung mga formula na ginamot sa function tab na to or key natin.
Okay? So, with that, thank you very much for watching. Hi, good day everyone.